Welcome back to the Rocks Reven Heart channel, part three of this uh, little gratitude for reaching 100 subscribers and officially becoming Rocks Reven Heart as the URL branding of this channel. Whew. With that said, I uh, already covered in the last video my topic of leaving behind a legacy and why branding myself on this channel was important. Um, so I kind of wanted to do a little different in this video because um, I already covered legacy, but uh, I wanted to kind of elaborate further on um, what YouTube means to me and what it should mean to you, which I did a little bit of that in the last video as well. However, with all of my social platforms I'm on branded as Rocks Revenheart, YouTube is kind of the one I'm funneling everything towards as my main hub, as I like to say. And I already said this in the last two videos, so this is kind of really going a little further on that. But um, how this ties into what I'm next going to uh, uh, elaborate on as far as getting comfortable in front of the camera and making sure I'm doing more than one upload a week there's the quality versus quantity and right now I'm kind of leaning more towards the uh, quantity over quality so I wanted to kind of go a little further on that since it is YouTube and it is about me on this channel which is why you're getting these little vlog updates stripped of gimmick not the most elaborate background here as I'm in my car and I'm waiting for class um, these quick little updates aren't my escape from just doing something clever and edited and creative these are uh, just something I wanted to make sure my audience those who are subscribed and are watching have something to get to know me a little better um, these little updates are important to me to kind of get out so I can kind of give everyone an opportunity to understand where I'm coming from what I'm trying to achieve here uh, which is why the last topic was on legacy and YouTube as a way to kind of immortalize myself. Well, this is also a way to kind of record and um, let people discover who I am and my personality, uh, which is a little harder to do when I'm doing like all those gimmicky and the higher edited videos. But the, this is a, this is raw rocks right here little more comfortable I do like the intimacy of not being in a closet sized room as opposed to my own freedom of being on the road in a vehicle uh, which travel is like my number one thing I like to do is be behind the wheel I call it revandon ship or I should post some pictures of uh, the vehicle I'm driving in this is the Crimson Avenger so welcome aboard the Crimson Avenger as I call it. It's a Kia Sedona color red that's why I went with crimson. The logo looks like a K, an I, and an A. The I looks kind of like a divider between the K and the A so I call it Crimson Avenger spelled with a K. Uh, the reason I call it the Crimson Avenger <laughs> is because it's a minivan and I use it to haul my children around and they're my blood and I like to take them to avenge the world it's constantly trying to screw with us and and our own survival so it's the crimson avenger it gets me and my family from a to b this is my own personal little starship minus the star traveling maybe one day i'm looking forward to that hopefully if i live long enough but for now i'm not amongst the stars i'm on the road and that is where i'm most comfortable hence why some of these videos are coming from the car uh, this being stripped of gimmick and this being YouTube welcome to me on YouTube aboard the Crimson Avenger along with cementing my legacy and doing videos about me updating who I am and what I plan on doing with this channel now that it's officially branded I'm 
comfortable behind the wheels so I plan on doing some adventure videos as well so stay tuned for some of those um, I like to treasure hunt I like to travel I'll get further into that I also like to repair cars and I've been trying to get myself to get comfortable recording some of my repair work which just as of last night I should have recorded this but it was dark out and I was just trying to get the job done but my brake light stopper which is a little plastic piece that sits right behind your brake pedal to trigger your brake lights on the brake light switch Crimson Avenger was dead in the water as of last night it I had no brake lights they were constantly in a state of being on so long as the battery was plugged in or the car was on or off the brake lights were on so my Crimson Avenger was broken I couldn't drive that made me very sad and I had a very hard time making videos last night I should have covered some of it maybe documented it but eh, I'm still kind of dealing with it a little bit I'm having some flickering issues maybe a fuse or something to change I wasn't sure how I was going to record it because in order to get to that little stopper you have to climb underneath the wheel underneath the wheel well contort your body in ways that my body is just not designed to contort and reach up there to put this little plastic piece of which didn't fit the replacement one so I had to make my own rigged ghetto version of a stopper using a couple washers and a, a wooden peg <laughs> So far it's working, but hopefully I can do a little bit more, uh, maybe video footage of trying to put something more official in, something real. So, welcome aboard the Crimson Avenger, and that's kind of, maybe I'll do some still footage of this, or maybe do a walk around, I don't know. I'll probably do a more elaborate video on the Crimson Avenger itself, um, because I am into van life, is... Uh, Another thing, I like to build out these vans to be little RVs, secondary homes, travel vehicles for uh, camping and stealth camping. So equipped with like solar and showers and sinks and bathrooms and bedding and all that fun stuff. Um, so I do plan on doing some videos based on van life. And this is, in this case, mini van life. I'm hoping some of these videos will... Um, do maybe a right now it's a no van a no build van build so I don't have any uh, wooden structures added it's just little things I can do to make it comfortable to live in such as folding the seats down and throwing in blankets and pillows kind of thing very simple but I do have some designs and I, I have built this would be my third vehicle doing this with so I do plan on doing something kind of fun with it I am also looking, uh, going more the uh, either schooly or a cargo van route with my next build because I'm not sure I really want to continue using what is now kind of then more my family vehicle for that purpose. I kind of really want to get really into it, make an RV camper build. So I'd probably go the route of either school bus or schooly or a cargo van. Um, Shout out to one of my favorite shows on uh, YouTube, which is Van City Van Life, hosted by uh, Chrome Valdez. I love watching your show daily. If you catch this video ever, thank you for producing your stuff. You're what inspired me and what educated me and how I discovered van life to begin. So I'm kind of glad to uh, introduce this video as partial van life. It's kind of my intro video to that, I think. So I will be doing a lot more uh, elaboration on that. For now, this video is just to explain why I'm always in the van on some of these updates. It's because I live in this thing. Not officially yet, but I spend most of my time in the Crimson Avenger. So there'll be more updates of the Crim ugh, Crimson Avenger. I can't talk today, forgive me. I've been uh, having to talk in a class all day, so I'm kind of bleh, bleh. can't help but stutter. But that's the whole purpose of why I make these YouTube videos is to train myself to get comfortable talking. If you made it this far in the video, I appreciate you watching, and uh, 
I am going to do some future videos on the Crimson Avenger and any other band builds I do. So I'll do some tours and stuff like that. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.